Should be live. All right. So just got Black Panther. We are going to start grinding enemies for all their souls. Okay, so the killer fish, there's a room perfect for doing that. But I believe, I don't know. Uh, let's go for the killer fish first. And I might as well walk there. Hold on a second. All right, hey there, Frank. So this is, in my opinion, one of the best Castlevania games. Okay, so let's see, we want Okay, our Soul Eater Ring is equipped. We are currently poisoned, so let's just... Uh, the, 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 the zombie. See, this is the, the reward you get. Oh! And there we go, we got the Killer Fish Soul. So what I'm using to do that, to go super fast, is uh, the, 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 the Black Panther Soul. Which is the reward you get for beating the 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 first final boss with the pass to get the true ending? How's the audio balance, by the way? Because uh, let's see. Next, we need Bone Pillar. Okay, I know where we can get that. Yeah.
You know what? While I'm here, I should try to get um, a really rare soul. So let's see, where is... There's, there's Chrono Mage. We're going to need that. You don't see anything? Try turning your volume up. What? Like, do you mean you can't hear the game or me? I'm guessing you can't hear the game. That's weird. How about now? Well, okay. I think my my audio levels were too quiet. Hold on. There we go. I think my audio levels on my end were too quiet. Like, I had the balance set too low. So I turned both my mic and the game up. Cool. Anyway, we're gonna get a rare soul right now. I fucked up. Oh, shit. So you see that, that white streak that went by? That is the skyfish. Fucked up again. Nope. This is one of the most infuriating souls to get in the game. Oh, fucking god damn it. It only appears in two rooms, and it's super fast. It's so fast that you physically cannot touch it. Unless you freeze time. God! Nope. Uh, let's equip the Headhunter Soul, just because. Nope, I keep on getting it wrong. Also, for some reason, the big golem isn't affected by the time freeze. And if I do time freeze too early, the skyfish just doesn't appear. There it is! Well, at least I killed it. But now, now it's in my enemy data, so I can actually show it to you. Well, it is a boss. It was an early, it was an early boss that becomes a regular enemy. So here's the skyfish. It's a creature that moves at high speed, invisible to catch with the naked eye. Um, 
You do camera shit, right? Right, Frank? You might be familiar with the phenomena that the skyfish is based on. Can you guess? So it's whenever you catch little flying things that that are with wings, because of the limited uh, capture rate of frames on cameras, sometimes when those uh, uh, creatures like moths and birds are flying, you, they'll look blurred and they'll look like a rod with little alternating wings on it either side. And for a while, some people thought they were a cryptid, but they're really just a camera artifact. I think you can find I think you can find videos about it if um you look up sky rods No, that was an appropriate caps lock anyway. God damn it. This soul pisses me off so much. Because the timing has to be so pre so precise. poison to wear off. There we go. Fuck. Nope. Nope. I'm... It's just, it moves so fast that if I cast it by the time I see it, it's too late, so I keep on trying to do it early, but then I keep on doing it before it even appears. Nope. <laughs> kind of. I think it's like three Mississippi seconds. Okay, yeah. Three Mississippi seconds is actually like perfect. So three Mississippis after I enter the room, the skyfish should go past. Fuck! One, two, three. Nope. 
One, two, three. Nope. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Fuck! One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Fuck! No, I think you're right. It seems to be more like 2.5. The hard part is, not only do I need to reliably ca kill it, I, I need to kill it until it drops its soul, which is a relatively rare occurrence. What? Wait, that made no sense. Okay, so it's easy if it comes from the left side of the screen, but I don't think it always does that. Messed up again. Nope. Oh my god. Damn it. Nope. Took too long. Don't know why. Nope. 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 I got it! Now I never need to do this again. Uh, that being said, it would be a good idea to get the... the... Where's the one I like? Now let's try the bomber armor. I need to not go fast. Now I need that guy's soul. Cause this is the only room that he appears in, so I might as well go get it right now.
Okay, so three bombs. Yes. Because so, okay. Um, this isn't really spoilers. If you if you go watch the rest of the game, you'll know that Soma is the reincarnation of Dracula. Uh, this game takes place in the year 2035. Dracula was defeated in 1999. So Soma has the ability to absorb the souls of all the things in the castle. So because I have the bomber armor soul, I can throw bombs. Which is why my, my character portrait also looks so weird. He doesn't look usually look like that. Well, that's because this is the year 2035. Because, uh, for instance, I have a handgun. As you can tell, though, the handgun is kind of shit. Yes, this actually is the farthest in the future a Castlevania game has taken taken place. Um, the next closest to the present... Well, some of them were actually pretty relatively recent. Like, um, Portrait of Ruin takes place in 1944. So that's during slash after the, the World War II, if I remember correctly. And technically, Dawn of Sorrow, the sequel, takes place even farther in the future because it's just like a year later. Um, there are a few enemies that, that go with the fact that this game takes place in the future as well. Now let me see if I can find one. Zombie Soldier. This is a, a corpse of a soldier who marched to his death 36 years ago, which means he died in 1999, which was when Dracula was finally defeated. No robots, but soldiers. Uh, I think that might be the only future-like enemy. Oh wait, no, no. The zombie officer here is technically a soldier from 1999. I think those are the only two, though. Yes, that was a cockatrice. 
It has a pallet swap later in the game, which is a basilisk. But yeah, cockatrice. We're gonna have to grind that thing for its soul, too. Yes, exactly. See, that's the thing I like about Castlevania. A lot of the enemies and even the weapons have places in mythology from around the world. Uh, for instance, uh, the, the, the Gungnir here. This is the spear that belongs to to uh, Odin. Or Ronganus's spear, which is a mistranslation of Longinus's spear, which I believe was a Roman soldier who did something bad to Jesus. Golem Soul! Alright, let's check this out. That's pretty cool. Now we're just going to Oh, we can't fly over him. Okay. Uh, let's see. Since it's on our way, we might as well grind for the, uh... No, I want Black Panther. Um, for the Mand Mandragora right now. Damn it, I did it too soon. The key to the Mandragora is you need to kill it after the skeleton pulls it out of the ground, all the way. Otherwise, it doesn't count as killing the Mandragora. Nope, too soon. There we go. Now I can summon my own Mandragora. Where am I going? Where am I going? I'm going for the Bone Pillar, right. There we go. Now I can summon my own Mandragora.
Where am I going? Where am I going? I'm going for the bone pillar, right. So here's a cool room. If we equip the Undyne Soul, we can walk on water. But we can't go through this waterfall. I mean, we can go through it up here, but that won't get us underneath. So to do that, we need to take hints from these glyphs here. There's one there, one there, and one there. And I already explained this in uh, yesterday, but that, they're hinting to three specific souls. So we're going to use this one, the Curly Soul, which is a mistranslation of... Kali. The other two that can get us through there are the Devil and the Manticore. Yeah, there's a couple mistranslations in this game, and they kind of bother me. Because Curly is uh, Kali, who is in a Hindu figure. Um, there was the weapon, the cut, the cut all, which is an, a Qatar. Um. The tall hand. The, there's Ronganus' the spear, which I said was Longinus. Um, the tall hammer here is a lightning summoning hammer. It is clearly Mjolnir. But they call it a tall hammer because mistranslations. Now we just need one of these to give us the, uh, their soul. Oh, there we go. The Bone Pillar is a pretty cool soul. It's not very useful, but it's cool looking. There we go, Student Witch. The Student Witch is such a fun soul. But I have much better one, so I'm not going to use it. Okay, so who's next on the list? We need Zombie Soldier Souls. Okay. I believe that one is... I throw a grenade. So let's see here. Okay, zombie soldiers are in the long court. Uh...
here we go. So we're just going to run through this corridor back and forth. There we go. Zombie soldier. Throws a hand grenade. Next is the siren. I don't actually know... I'm trying to think where's a good place to grind for the siren. Okay, not too far. Um, if I want the the super overpowered ring, there's a, there is one item that the game will give that will only spawn if you have 100% of the soul. And I want it, because it's kind of stupid. Actually, wait, no, there's a better place I could be doing this. Yeah, there's a way better place I could be doing this. is right here. I think this is it, yeah. Okay, there's Harpy. Siren. Who's next? Tiny Devil! And the rock armor. Okay. Fuck it.
And here's a tiny devil. And there goes the tiny devil. There's another. And another. Oh, there we go. Save. Here is our best place for the rock armor. It's a little annoying because I can't kill him just by running into him with the uh, with the Black Panther wave. Getting plenty of skeleton knights. But I don't need those. There we go! Rock armor. Now we can throw boulders. <laughs> uh, next on the list is the Minotaur. Okay. Well, actually, since we're over here, we might as well get the Quetzalcoatl. And the act we might as well get these three because they're over close by. And I missed. There's an ectoplasm, and there's a flea man. Awesome! And here's a Tobolpah. I'm still not entirely sure what this thing is. Because for a brief time, for a bit of time, I played a, a CCG called Blood Brothers. And one of the cards I found was a Katobal Pass that could evolve into a, uh, into a Gorgon. And so it must be some sort of bull that can petrify people. 
Okay. Uh, let's see, the nearest warp point is... <sighs> there isn't really one. So we're just gonna go to this one. There we go. I was gonna say, I left the room before I collected the soul. And then I got another one right away. I leveled up. I am now level 48. Oh, I'm go I'm super excited for Bloodstain. I just hope uh, Koji Igarashi learns from Keiji Inafune's marketing mistakes. Cause have you seen that trailer for Mighty Number no. Nine? It's so bad. It's so bad. There we go, Minotaur Soul. So bad. The game also looks nothing like I thought it was going to be like, too. And it's like, okay, um, I'm gonna pass, because it, it looks like another Mega Man Zero style. Because sort of Mega Man, the, the Mega Man platforms have sort of really ramped up progressively in difficulty and level of skill required to actually play them. Uh, from Mega Man Classic to X to the GBA Zero games to ZX Gun Striker uh, Azure Striker Gunvolt is kind of a spiritual successor to the Zero games and it sort of has a similar thing going on where it's like it requires too much skill to be fun I mean, pretty much, yeah. Like, they got more technical and required more skill, and... It just wasn't fun. And with the emphasis on the combos and the dashing in Mighty Number no. 9, it looks like it's just gonna be another one of those. I haven't, pl I haven't actually played ZX, either one. Alright, now we can sling hot curry.
Now we need to kill Killer Doll. Exactly! Like, it requires such mastery of the combat maneuvers that it's hard for it to be fun. Like, there's a reason that the uh, Mega Man Zero collection for the Nintendo DS has an easy mode that wasn't present in the original game. I don't think I have the Creaking Skull Soul. No, I do not, so let's get him right now. Well, see, no, Battletoads was back when... Battletoads was back when games were designed to eat your quarters. So, that's why it was hard. You know, and that was the standard for arcade side-scrolling beat-em-ups, like Battletoads and Double Dragon. That was just the standard for the time. So the Creaking Skull here is, a, is actually the first boss, uh, so he's the first, but here he is reappearing as a, as a normal enemy. I mean, he's not exactly normal because he's only in this room, but he is just a regular enemy. There we go. I already have Wooden Golem. But yeah, the first few bosses actually get that treatment in this game, and I kind of like that, because it gives you a, a real sense of progression, you know? It gives the game a really big sense of, of scale and progression. What I really want is one of these Castlevania games where your character actually changes appearance based on the armor you have equipped. I mean, yeah, Alucard would be wearing a different cloak in Symphony of the Night when uh, you put on some of the specific cloaks, but that was that wasn't the same thing. I like games where that happens, because it makes things a bit more fun. 
because you can like look at the player's character and get an idea of okay so that's so that's the kind of build they're running at the moment Oh my god, killer doll, please just give- Wait, did it? Did it just Oh, I might have- I might have just escaped before I could collect the soul. Let's find a different room to do this in. This works better. It also looks way cooler. What was that? This motherfucker's like Dracula. I think he can take it. Oh my god, killer doll, just give me your soul. Oh, hey, hey, he's dropping something. What is that? A base lard. Uh, Ko Konami. Which means, unfortunately, we're not really gonna get any more Castlevania games unless it's a pachinko machine, because fuck you. Just like we're not gonna get any more Metal Gear Solid games, because fuck you. The thing is, Konami technically owns Yu-Gi-Oh!, so... They can kinda do whatever they want when it comes to video games, and they're not really gonna be hurting. Not uh, I would love to see Simon Belmont in Smash Brothers and give him the treatment that Mega Man got. Where like all of his poses were referencing directly to the sprites. That would be so awesome.
Uh, isn't... Fuck, he's, he's doing something. He is making something. And like, he has, his new production company has a mascot, and he, they're working that into a game. And it looks pretty cool. And it's totally not Metal Gear Solid. Killer doll, there we go. I think more than once, um... I think more than once I actually killed the killer doll and got its soul, and left the screen before picking it up. Well, no, it... Frank, have, have you seen the, the picture of the new mascot? It might end up being some sort of spiritual successor route. That's what I meant by totally not. Like, M Mighty Number no. 9 is totally not Mega Man, and Bloodstained is totally not Castlevania. I mean, it looks very similar in that it's like heavily armored, um, military action thing. So who knows? And now I need to kill this ghost girl. There we go. I, I forget what the new project or production company is called, so I can't really help you out there. I'm not going to miss much, I'm just going to go by and murder a bunch of women. Alright, we got Persephone soul. Now we need Lilith. And there's actually a much better place I could use to grind for Lilith's soul. So we're going to go there.
Oh my god, let go of me. Did I just heal her? I think I just healed her. Well, there we go. There's the little soul. And since we're already over here, we might as well go for the um, giant skeleton. There we go, giant skeleton. Why am I over here? Let's see, we'll save Alt My Air uh, for later. Uh, you know what, while we're over here, 
I think I'm going to get the Red Minotaur Soul. And there's the Red Minotaur Soul. I've got to turn down my mic volume a little tiny bit. There we go. There isn't really a fast way into the next place I need to go. Hmm. So let's just go this way. Well, there's the dead warrior. And there's the red crow. Cockatrice soul. There's the cockatrice soul. Uh, who's next? I'll say I'm gonna save the Altair soul for later, along with the um kicker skeleton, I think it's called. 
Let's, let's get find a good place to find the devil soul. Actually, wait, do we already have a Gorgon soul? We do not. Let's get that. Shit. There's a Gorgon soul. Here, so let's get the Altair soul. Actually, I think I need to wait for them to drop the Ripper before it counts as an Altair. Yep. And since we're here, let's just get the kicker skeleton. Oh, and there we go. Already got the kicker skeleton. Alright, let's try to get the manticorn. Oh my god, I completely forgot how this place works. Devil, give me your soul. There we go. Forms into a demon that rushes at enemy. It looks like this! Now we need a manticore. Golem and a werewolf. 
So we're just gonna go between these two rooms for a bit. There's a werewolf. Now we need a manticore. And a golem. You know, there's better places to grind the golem, so we're just going to stay on the manticore right here. For now. God, Manticore, give me your soul! Oh my god, Manticore, give it to me. Finally, I have the Manticore Soul. Okay. I need Golem and Gremlin. Can 
and I've just gotta find this too. Yes, there's a golem there, but there's an closer golem. There's a golem soul. I don't see. I need to find a room where a gremlin spawns near the top. Let's set up the save room while we're at it. Or, or near a doorway. There's a gremlin soul. Let's see, who's next in the enemy book? Great armor. Good, because that's what I was going for next. I can. Didn't really help. Anyway, got the great armor soul. Next on the list is Giant Worm, Man Eater, and Nightmare. Okay, so we need to go into the underground reservoir now. Underground Reservoir. Okay, we're probably going to need Scuba. Uh, 
Alright, there's the nightmare. For whatever reason, there's two different versions of the nightmare. The nightmare. Okay, so let's see. Uh, there should be a room over here where we can easily grind up. Oh. Yep. Giant worm. And look at that. Giant worm first try. Okay, so the man eater is also nearby. Oh, wait, let's go to the save room. The man eater soul. Alright, now we got a bunch of souls down here to find. Dryad, Arc Demon, Cognazo, Poison Worm, Ukobak, Alraune, Bifron. The Cognazo soul. Now we need an Ukobak, which actually there is a better hallway we could uh, grind for that in. Yeah. You missed quite a few souls. So let's see. We're looking for this page. Because these are a lot of enemies that can be found down here in the underground reservoir. They're all relatively close by to each other. But we're at 87.7% .7 soul collection.
So this hallway is perfect for, for some of the souls we need right now. So we need the Dryad, we need the Poison Worm. Ooh, nice. And we need the Ukaba. Oh, level up, and there's a Dryad Soul! And there's the Ukobox Soul! Now we need the Poison Worm. Which, as far as I can remember, this is the best place to grind for it, which is a little sad. Oh wait, this works. I did not know I could stand on the poison worm. That is... In not how they spell it in this game. Uko back. Uko baka. No, I didn't. I get poisoned if I walk into it like this. Wait, what? Huh. That's, that's really weird, though. I'm pretty sure all the poison worm soul does is make me immune to give me uh, poison immunity anyway. Poison in this game is different from other games anyway. It doesn't actually deal continuous damage like in, say, Pokemon. It actually uh, decreases your strength, so you do way less damage. Oh my god, Poison Worm, please. Here I am again, on top of it. Somehow.
Oh my god. This is getting annoying. Also, if you look carefully, you can clearly see the cleavage of the Dryad. I mean, it's like that for a lot of enemies in this game. Like, there's the siren. Look at those boobs. Look at those GBA pixel quality boobs. They're nice and perky. They come to a point. There's some more. They're wrapped up in a, in a single cloth that goes over the nipples. Uh, the student witch does not. Arachne is pretty flat, but you can still distinctly see the shape. Uh, uh, I think this game is... I actually don't remember. It's either E10, it's either E, E10, or, te or Teen, which, it's like, that's a pretty broad spectrum, but... I mean, the evil butcher, look at his peck cleavage. Lilith, duh. She just lay letting that titty hang out there. Uh, Valkyrie's pretty covered up. Look at that witch tit. Actually, oh my god, the way her idle animation look uh, is working, it looks like either her tits are getting bigger. Or the top of her dress that is covering where her nipples would be is coming down as she go bobs up and down. You see that? <laughs> um, well, I mean, a lot of Castlevania games reuse sprites from, from each other. Unless you meet, you're talking about how she looks like a student witch. Yes, exactly. Uh, the curly is just a palette swap of the Durga. Uh, there's the cockatrice. Look at the musculature on the devil, though, man. It's fucking creepy. There's the harpy, which is just a palette swap of the siren, so of course it's going to have the same perky, pointy titty. There's the dryad I was talking about. Oh, yeah, you're probably thinking of the, um, the sorceress from Dragon's Crown. The Cognizo and his pelt swaps kind of got a bit of a bulge going on. In the similar vein to the... to the... crotch fuzz on Blaziken. Alraune, just a naked lady in a flower. She's a bit smaller than the others, though. So her tit is literally just five pixels.
There's the Skull Malone, which is the palette swap of the Cognizo. There's Succubus. This is a really weird one. Uh, it might just be coincidence, but it actually looks like... I'm just sh It's just... Hey, since I noticed the one, I wanted to go through all the enemies and point out all of them, okay? Uh, there's the headhunter. She's a lizard. Uh, there's a legion. He is many. He is one. There's Balor. Uh, and there's the final boss. Or at least the... Well, yeah, he's the final boss. Notice how he doesn't have a soul. And that's not even all of his sprite. Like, his sprite is bigger than the... than the frame here. Anyway. Poison Worm. Give me your soul. Oh, there it is! Alright, now we got the Poison Worm Soul. Who's next? Arc Demon, Bifron, and Alra Une. Okay. Uh, there's a better place to grind for the Arc Demon, so I'm not going to do it down here, but I will kill this one on my way. Here's the Alra Une. And here's Bifron. Oh yeah, here's where we fought Legion. There's the Allura Une soul. So now we need Bifron. And there's Bifron's soul. Amazing. Now we need the Arc Demon, and I know just the place to grind for that. Yeah. Oh my god. 
I'm trying to remember, is the Ark Demon the one I'm thinking of? Maybe. We might want to do double duty grinding the Ark Demon. Because it's either the Ark Demon or something else that I'm thinking of. Drop the, well, the best armor in the game. It's either the Ark Demon or an even more powerful demon. I honestly forget which one it is. That was stupid. Oh my god. Well, I got a level up. I'm level 54 now. Jesus Christ. Here, let's, uh... Where's a soul that will increase my luck? Here we go. This might help. Just a little bit. Drop one of the two things I need. Oh, that's not what I had in mind. Okay, so he doesn't keep, so it's not, it's not the Archidemon that uh, drop the, the best armor in the game. Yeah. 
Could I please have your soul, though? God. How much experience does he even give? Like 400 or something? I, I just really like to look here. Yeah, he gives 400 exactly. Okay. Okay, that just healed him. Holy shit. Did you see that? Plus 1500. Oh my god, I got another level up. Hold on a second here. Um, so what the... That. What the Killer Mantle Soul does is it swaps an enemy's HP and MP stats. So there are some enemies that have no MP, and it will instantly kill them. Thank fucking god I finally got the Arc Demon. Uh, the Arc Demon has so much MP that when you hit him with the Killer Mantle, it heals him by 1500 points. That's an enemy we haven't seen yet. Okay, I'm gonna get to the next area I need to go to, then I need to do some chores. Real quick.
Let's get to the save point. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the stream and uh, need to do some chores real quick. Then I'll be back.